guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will see two more activities related to Google Drive and the series of uh, Z Suite applications. So, those are find files and folders, and another activity what we have left is get file info. So, in this session, we will see about these two activities. So, let's begin with this find file and folders, and we just drag drop into our designer panel. So here by default a food search for objects is displayed with the name equals to this spreadsheet. So here in the properties also we can see here with the expression like this. So these are the expressions which are provided by the Google team. So with the help of these expressions, so we can perform the search operation on a Google Drive. So here if you observe the drive I have some documents like this and some excel and as well as some forms as well so here if i want to search for some documents so like suppose abcd.txt or if you observe this hello world so i have multiple files with hello world here if you observe which are with some data which are with the different data and the blank data so if i want to get the IDs or the information about these Google documents. So I need to use this find files and folder activity. So here for writing the expression, we can use the expressions so which are provided by the Google Drive API team. So here these are some of the examples. I will share this link in the description of this video. So here if you observe name equals to hello. This is like the same way what we have shown here in by default and in the same way so there are some more examples based on our requirement we can use so like man type equals to application slash vnd dot google app and apps dot folder in the same way name contains hello and we can use the boolean operators also to find the files in our google drive and not name it gives the list of the documents which are not having the word hello in its name Okay, so in our examples, what we will do is we will find out the details about abcd.txt. Okay, so here I will just update this input field. Like this abcd.txt. And here you can see the max results count is showing as 50 by default. If you want to change it, you can change it. As I have only one document with this abcd.txt, I will just uh, keep it as 50 only. And here in the output, we can observe the fields like feeling lucky and the result. So, feeling lucky is nothing but it will display the first ID, first file ID of the particular expression. If suppose if I want to get the id of this hello world so there are n number of hello world documents here in my google drive if you observe my google drive suppose if i want to just get the detail of the first hello world id so just we need to create one variable i'll show you how we can create the variable so just click on the field and use ctrl k to set the variable so here i will just update it as fl as my feeling lucky variable so as I have only one variable, so I will just get only one ID. So for printing this, I will use the right line statement. Okay, so I will just use this as well. Okay, just name of this with the help of the play button. Execution is started. Okay. So now the execution is completed. So here you can see an ID is generated, so which is nothing but the document ID of this feeling lucky document ID of this abcd.txt. So now I just want to iterate all the hello world IDs. So how I can achieve it is so here. 
I'll just replace this as name equals to element. So as feeling lucky, we'll show you the first ID of the hello world document. So now I want to get the all the IDs. So how I can achieve it is with the help of this result variable. So here it is nothing but a file which is an array of uh, IDs or it contains information like uh, size. So as you can see the information available here, it gives you the type of the document, it gives the size and other properties as well. So in our example, we will just try to get, get the primary of uh, the all the hello world documents. So here I will just create one variable with the help of control K. And my variable name is files or file IDs. Okay. So to iterate this file ID, we need to use a for each activity. So for that, just search in the activities panel and here so we have uh, for each activity in the control so we should drag and drop and here I will keep the expression file id And here in the index, I'll just create one more variable as item, and I'll copy this right line and paste it here. And here I will print the item dot. I want ID. So why it is not showing anything information related to the ID or the size? So why? Because uh, first we need to set the type document to Google Drive document. So for that, open this browse options and search for drive. So here we can see so Google APIs drive version three dot data. So just try with this uh, okay. Let's see if we are able to see the ID or not. Yeah, we got the ID. And in the same way, if you want to get the name, you just need to mention test dot name. And in the same way, if you want to get the sizes. Size. So this is not that code. So you just try with uh, some other examples. Or this document is already available in the UiPath uh, documentation. So you can defer that. So now I just want to print all the file IDs. So here, first one will be my first document file ID, which is nothing but uh, holding the feeling lucky variable here. Okay. So let's run this now. And see whether we are able to see all the information related to hello world or not so yeah i got some error here i think i made a wrong step in selection this type of document uh, yeah i found the exact one so here we need to select the type of document as google.apis.drive.pt dot data dot file so now all the address were gone so let's run this now yeah see how many files we have related to the statement hello world so here we can see the output so there are around 10 more so here you can observe the first ID is displayed twice. Why? Because the here I have written one statement related to the feeling lucky. So it is displaying the first ID and here all the remaining IDs which are related to the statement as name equals to hello. So here you can answer all the information. And if you want to get the information only for the specific file, 
लाइक आईडी और नेम और सम अदर प्रॉपर्टीज सो वी हैव वन मोर एक्टिविटी इन द गूगल ड्राइव एक्टिविटीज सो दैट इज नथिंग बट द गेट फाइल इनफो सो आई विल यूज दिस गेट फाइल इनफो सो बिफोर दैट आई विल जस्ट कमेंट दिस फॉर इच लूप ओके सो फॉर टाइम बी सो वी कैन यूज कमेंट एक्टिविटी So I'm just place the file to inside this activities. Okay, like this. And here, so the input of this get file info is is between file ID. So here I will provide the FL, which is nothing but the filling key value from the file files and folders activity. So here you can observe the output of this get file info activity is nothing but A file, so just like what we have seen previously, it is also class. And whereas, if you observe the file file activity, it is a array, and whereas it is a class, so the properties are same. So here also we can get the information about the file name, size, and many things. So let's check this now. So here I will create one variable. So I will just rename it as file. So as it is a class variable, and now we set with this get file info, and here I have an output variable file class. So for using this, I will use this get line activity. Just copy it from the previous one, and here I will just keep the variable file class. And if you see by placing the dot, we will get some suggestions like this, like create a time, create a time draw, type ID. Equals and so many more we can see here. So get type, get name, get ID. So like this, all the information we can achieve. So for time being, I'll just print the name of uh, the file which uh, we have provided here in the file files and folder activities. So as I have used the same ID which is generated by the file files and folder, I should get the same file name. So let's run this now, and we'll check the output. See, we got a response. Let's check an output. Yeah. So here our input is the hello world. The same output we are seeing with the help of this get file info activity. So like this, we get n number of information for a particular file with the help of this. Get file info for all the documents, whatever you want to see, and along with that, you can see the size and the creator details, or the creation time, or the man type. All the details are available with a particular file. You can get all the information with get file info. So that's all for this session. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe and share the video with your friends, and please support us. That's all for now. Thank you.